Hello and welcome everyone to part 6 of my Hitman series. Today we are going to be tackling the final level of Hitman 1. It is the level in Hokkaido. A very fun one. And as ever we are going to be following the misadventures of Bang Bang Barry, our assassin who only kills targets with either a shotgun or explosives. He just loves loud noises. This mission is particularly interesting because we've got our two targets here. But we cannot bring anything with us. So Barry faces Sophie's choice between his two most beloved children. His little sawn off shotgun. And his large explosives. But today... I think we're going to go for explosives. We're going to put the big one in there because I, I, I think we can maybe rig the environment to blow up. So the reason why it's so hard to bring things in is because this is a medical facility, facility and we've had to masquerade as a patient. Now Barry's got his fucked up eardrums. So I think he's had to, he's had to lie. He's had to say to the medical professions, got clanitis. You know, he's gone in there and said, doctor, I, I'm terribly depressed. And the doctor says, well, I've heard Bang Bang Barry is in town. Why don't you go see him? Maybe you'll cheer up. He says, oh, but doctor, Oh, I'm bang, bang, Welcome bang, bang. to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater undergoing a pre surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. <laughs> Here he is. He is Barry. And as you can tell, he's suffering terribly from clownitis. Now, the AI that that intro video spoke about is very important because this level, the doors only open based on what costume you're wearing. So it's a very hard one to sort of sneak around and clamber about because all of the doors are run by this AI and each bit of clothing, you know, each costume you can put on has different uh, levels of access it can get you in. So <laughs> just as a clown, I'm not entirely sure whether we can get too far. I wonder how far we could climb around down on here. Try and take some of those guards out. Still there close. But I think we're actually going to go the other way. We're going to climb over the barriers here. And go into next door suite. <laughs> Powerful clown acrobatics. So when we're in this next room, we're going to poke some buttons and it'll hopefully lure some doctors in. Once we're dressed as a doctor and we've gotten over our clownitis, we'll be able to access way more of the facilities. We'll be able to go get our explosive that was smuggled in. And we'll be able to start thinking about how we're going to assassinate our targets. Right. The masqueraders worked. They really believed us. Now we press the button to call the emergency alarm. 
two of them are going to come in. One of them is going to hear this fucking toilet going nuts. And a fucking clown's going to get him. In you come, son. There we are. Oh, not you as well, love. There it is. And on. Yes, now sleep forever. Sleep forever, my, my sweet gentle boy. There's no cupboard to put you in just yet. But we have our fresh change of clothes. The good lady doctor has, has left. And we have a bit more freedom to roam around the facilities. Here she is. Hey, medical. Hello, sir. So, on our little mini map, we have the green sort of luggage icon that is exactly where we're headed. That is where our explosive is. And I believe we want to go through this door. Into the laundry. Yeah. But that will lead us out to this mechanics place. And here we are. Here's our bomb. Now, so we have two choices. We can go after our slightly softer target, Yuki. Or we can go after the much more, I don't know, heavily fortified area where our patient is. So if we go after Yuki, yeah, there she is. She's roaming around these spots. And if we get close, you can smell the cigarettes on her. The stink of it all. So we know she's a smoker. I'm wondering if there's... Quite often there are like oil lamps and stuff to... To try and rig to make them explode. Well, Not entirely sure where one of them are. Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Mm. So, anyone in these games who's bald, Agent 47, no, sorry, Barry, can dress up as. We don't want to... We want to stop following this. There we go. We're playing our own mission. And at the moment that mission is find where Yuki likes to smoke. Right, so dressed as a doctor, we have been following Yuki all around, and we have spied a gas lamp over there. Problem is, all of her and her bodyguards are in this private room, so I feel we've identified where she smokes a little bit too late. So, I don't know if we can shimmy our ways over there. Or if it's way too late. But we certainly know for the, for the future. That this is where an explosion is going to be. So, if we pop up now. Anyone will see us. We're going to take out our little wrench. We're going to crouch here. Throw it at that fella. Push him over. No one's any the wiser. Off you go, son. Sorry to do you like this. But we are going to loosen a valve here. And we are going to notice that she did not smoke near it. No. 
So, that gives me an idea. The very first room we were in, that fella has a packet of cigarettes which we neglected to pick up. So I wonder if we... If we go grab that packet of cigarettes and then try and leave it around, I wonder if there's a place we can put it down. And trigger the whole beautiful explosion. Something that really set Barry's eardrums aflame. So, I'm going to shimmy around <laughs> on these balconies and go pick up a packet of cigs. Be back with you in a moment. Right, we're just going to chill out near here, wait for you to go. I know you've been smoking. Oh, I can smell it on you. No amount of deodorant is going to cover that up. There we are. Nice back here, seats. Right, now we're going to make the same journey back and see if we can place it anywhere in our room. Right, here we are, back on her balcony, looking for a place to plant these cigs, where she's gonna, she's gonna spot them, won't be able to resist. Gas is still going there, but we have these two bastards to deal with. Handily, we've got some coins here. Right, we're gonna try and throw one of these down the hall. Go investigate that, fellas. Go on, Zulu. Bingo. Oh, bingo! Sleep now, my beautiful boy. We're going to give you a nice rest in here. So, we've got you in there. You, son, you should be any problem. Or maybe you are going to be a problem. <laughs> Just throw a little coin there. Oh, yeah. Come to me. So this room has cleared up a lot. Pop you in there. And I, uh, do we, do we want to dress as this guy? Oh, yes, here we are. Replace empty pack with a full pack of six. Perfect. Oh, God, not perfect. Here she is. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Barry's got to get out of here. No one go in the bathroom. Not some fucking <laughs> unconscious guy in there. This does mean we can get a beautiful, beautiful view of proceedings. Hopefully we can get ourselves over to the other side. And then we can just watch. We can watch the beautiful explosion happen. But I wonder if there's a way to do that with uh, distractions and whatnot, where no one's knocked out and you can sneak in there, get the cigs down, sneak out. But right, safely here. She's just going to stand about there, is she? I wonder if we've broken her her pathing, whether that she needs some kind of prompting thing. Oh no, maybe it's because she's summoned these these guards to deal with it. I think there's a gun on the floor. And that's what they're spooked out by. Fuck, if they go into that bathroom, I'm done. Don't worry about it. Just have a cigarette to calm down. Oh, fuck. She's seen another gun as well. Oh, 
all this dealing with stray firearms. Bet she's Jones in for one now. Now. Barry's hearing that awful high pitched whine. The tinnitus is acting up again. The dogs. They're at his heels. They're barking. We just want to hear a sweet, sweet explosion. We want to see it. Come on. Yes! Oh, off she goes! Target down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Oh! There she is, down there. Having a little snow nap. What a sight. What a beautiful sight. Now we just need to get in surgery and plant our lovely little bum. Hopefully the whole facility shouldn't be going too mad. With that. Though someone has just exploded. Oh, these feathers don't care. So, I do know... As normal doctors won't be able to just stroll into surgery. I think we need a little change of costumes and dress ourselves as a surgeon. So that is going to be the next thing on our list. The next thing we need to do. Okay, it's just through there. We just need to find the right threads for this. Bodyguards in there. Doctors in there. No one else is in these tourists, I don't think. But we need someone in scrubs. Doctor, did no one inform you that this is off limits at the moment? Oh, it's all off limits, is it? Oh, sorry, sir. Someone should have right. Someone should have told me, yes. Very important information to know. We want to get down there and plant a little bomb. That dude's going to see us if he turns around. Let's fuck it. Let's get in here nice and quick. Oh, that's a surgeon. We found one. But he is pretty well guarded. How are we going to isolate him? God, he's coming right at us. He's coming right at us. Are you fucking kidding me? This was a bad idea. It was a very bad idea. Why can everyone in this goddamn place see exactly who we are? How the fuck did we survive that? We need to find another way around. I'm recorded by security. We can interrupt procedures here. Can't get into the mainframe. Already been recorded by cameras once. These are both doctors here. But we are now on the other side of this. Horrible floor. Right. Still got our wrench, and we're going to pull off some nonsense. That's what we're going to do. 
our goal is to get that guard to turn round, make it to the other side before before he's turned back away. Right. Off we go. Off we go. Quick as you like. Quick as a dog. No, hasn't worked. Didn't need. Didn't. <laughs> didn't have to work anywhere. <laughs> oh, fucking nonsense. Right, we're gonna choke out this dude. Those guys are none the wiser. We're gonna put him in a fucking cupboard, quick as you like. Right, we're off, we're off. We're gonna get in the cupboard as well with our boy. I can't believe that was fucking worth it. Here we are. Right, I have tried hard to get your clothes, mate. You are coming with me. You are getting into this fucking cabin. Oh, ho, ho. almost blew it right at the end there. But I am a fucking surgeon now. I am a goddamn surgeon. I'm gonna get all in Eric Soda's guts. I'm gonna rearrange them as the kids say. Sure that's what they mean. They're talking about explosions, aren't they? Have a great day, Doc. Have a great day yourselves, lads. A fucking brick of explosives. Easy does it. How's he looking, fellow surgeon? Oh, he looks very operable. He's got blood, that's a good sign. We need that fellow to maybe turn around. Oh, he's being stabbed up, is there? Is our man? Oh. Everyone's controlling the robots. We're gonna have so many witnesses to this explosion. Place that there. Beep, 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 boop. Get to a safe distance. And we say goodbye. Oh, Eric. We hardly knew you. Oh, the explosion. The sweet explosion. Let me see it. Let me hear it. Here we go. Oh. Oh, he's flatlining. He hasn't flown far. But the life has left his bones. Oh. I'd like to have seen him fly. God, we've been recorded by so many cameras. Since this is our final, final excursion of Bang Barry, we're going to leave them with a little record. Something to remember us by, and we are going to leave. I'm very pleased with the restrictions that this level puts on. We were able to witness two beautiful explosions and not get caught. Shame we were caught by all the cameras, but... But hey ho, that's how it goes. Barry sometimes wants to be known, and yes, we've got our three stars. So that concludes our playthrough of Hitman 1 as Bang Bang Barry. Hitman 2 is equally good. I absolutely love it. The levels are a bit more sprawling. Loads of stuff going on, but I think I might have maybe a little pause whilst I explore some um, 
other content to record but I do hope you've enjoyed this little taste of the Shitman series the adventures of the Bang Bang Barry alright I hope to see you on the next video see you all soon